Well, good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's the last day of the uh, Port Hardy, Port McNeil trip, and um, as you can see, we're packing up because um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have breakfast. Uh, we got up at six to have breakfast early, and what we're going to do is drive over uh, to Port Hardy, do our two dives early in the morning and then make the long trek back to Vancouver directly from there. So we're checking out after we eat breakfast and going to do the two, two dives. And one of them is going to be the Browning Wall, I believe, which is the sort of poster boy uh, for this trip. So it should be a, a pretty epic dive. I can't make any promises already because it's nature and it does what it wants, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Brian, you looking forward to it? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. And that, that's what's important. All right, so we're going to go out at breakfast. Alright, so this is where we've been staying, the hideaway motor in. Nothing too fancy. <laughs> There's Jim modeling it off. <laughs> Alright, well, we've arrived in uh, Port Hardy. We're waiting for uh, Steve to show up with the boat. And I'm a little out of breath from putting all the uh, gear on in the van. It's a tight space. Oh wow, I thought we had a good day yesterday, that was insane. Cool. <laughs> Brian, best dive? It was right up there. <laughs> and I'm pointing until, at you. Until you go to sit there, but this is the best cold water. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But that king crab, that was yeah. right. those, weren't, those weren't actual king crabs, that was just a shell left behind from when they molted. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Jim says that yellow ribbon looking thing is a sailfin sculpin. If I get a good oh, shot of him, I'll put him in there. I think so. Yellow, right? Uh, yellow? Kind of yellow is brown. Long. Yeah, long tail. No, a long spike on his back. Alright, okay. further confirmation coming up. Sail, sailfin oh. sculpin.
well, we've had a quick stop since we have to do our sa um, our service animal anyways, and we've landed at a little place called God's Pocket. So I don't know anything about it, but it's really nifty, colorful. So let's see what's up in here. A little hidden gem. Look at this little trails that go off everywhere. One here. Come back past my uh, anemone room. And of course the oracle room. I mean, you gotta have that. And then there's another. There's another little trail that just wanders off down into the forest. I think it's really cool. Let me know if you do too. <laughs> quick little stop over but that's a uh, god's pocket it is actually a dive resort that you can come and stay at so um, I'll see if I can grab a bit of the information and I'll link it down in the description of the video and uh, if anyone's interested in coming out here oh they'll definitely be able to happy to have you we're heading out look for sea otter <laughs> and back that way and you're in our way out of the way man Another humpback whale. If you don't want to come do this trip, I I don't know. We're on different wavelengths. This is a wonderful place.
25, man. 25. Oh, Steve, I just want to thank you very much for a great, great weekend. Well, it was awesome group. Awesome group. <sighs> Enjoyed it. Come back and visit us anytime. We definitely will. And um, do you have a website or anything I can link in the description? Yeah, the uh, sunfundivers.net is our webpage. It's still in construction, but uh, Facebook on Sunfund Divers. Okay, I'll yeah. make sure that you're on um, the, the two videos for yesterday awesome. and today. Yeah, and I can give you, uh, Tess has my email address, so okay. email okay. it and we'll, yeah, for sure. How small does the group need to be to you take people there? I need seven. Seven, seven. seven paying divers. Eight uh -huh. is perfect size. What if, what I will if, take six. What too. if you have a small group and like two people want to like jump? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Thank you so much. So nope. your knowledge great. of like marine life and everything just amazing. Oh, Thank you so much. I, I fooled you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I you, try hard. You really do. You, you knew how to find everything. It was it was brilliant. All right. Well, I'm glad. That's what we'd love, we'd love to show you what we got here. <laughs> so I can only take you to the stuff that's here. I, I can't I can't make it appear. But, uh. And the best thing is like was the, you promised things on the dive side and they were there. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That's what we like to hear. And that's an endorsement well, thank right you there. So much. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're back in the dive shop now. Nothing really too memorable happened after um, after we got uh, out of Port McNeil there. So um, I just figured I'd wait till we got back here to do a quick uh, overview and my last thoughts on the trip. Overall, I'd say uh, this is the reason that you cold water dive. That that was honestly an amazing trip. I would highly, highly recommend this. Um, and. I mean, where else are you going to see all that stuff in one day? I mean, what did we see? We saw sea otters, octopus, wolf eel, dolphins, humpback whales, orcas, bald eagles. I'm forgetting something. But, I mean, that was just, that was way, way more than I expected out of this trip. Warmer than I would ever ask for. And uh, definitely worth every penny with the dive locker. So, again, I mean, you know I do this stuff with the dive locker all the time. Uh, so, if you're around, um, or you're going to be around, I definitely look into booking with them. They're going to be linked in the description with with uh, Steve's uh, operation as well as uh, that's Sun Fun Divers as well as um, uh, the God's Pocket group there. If you'd like to uh, get in with them as well, um, if you have any more questions about this trip, uh, please uh, get in touch with me or the Dive Locker, and we'll, you know we'll get the answers for you. Uh, they run this about once a, uh, a year, from what I understand, and it's usually around this time of year, which is the end of August. So. That's the time of year to look out for it. I'd say register in early August or late July to make sure you get a spot. But yeah, um, wonderful, wonderful trip. Way exceeded my expectations and um, all around a great experience. So that's that's what I think of it, guys. And um, as always, I'd, I'd really appreciate any uh, any support you guys can give me with subscriptions or or sharing the videos. I love when you share them because that means more people get to see them. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching this, and uh, bye for now.